Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 karma songs. This is what you get. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable songs that address the theme of cosmic justice. What's your favorite karma laced tune? Let us know in the comments. Number 10 Karma, Marina. Love and Fear, the fourth studio album by Welsh singer Marina, was a double album that sought to explore the eponymous emotions through music. Heartbreaker, real faker, getting off on bad behavior. Appearing on the fear portion, this song deals with the concept of karma through the lens of the Me Too movement. Apparently, without even realizing it, Marina drew inspiration from the shocking revelations about Harvey Weinstein while writing the tune. It's funny how it all goes down. The singer describes the subject as someone with money and influence, whose wealth definitely won't save them when karma comes knocking. Featuring a tropical-style beat and Marina's signature expressions, karma was praised by some critics for being infectious and reminiscent of her earlier work. Number 9. Karma Killer – Robbie Williams British singer Robbie Williams landed his first UK number one hit with the lead single off his album I've Been Expecting You. Are you cut up? Or do you easily forget? The album also produced this deliciously wicked track, which Williams himself has referred to as an anthem for people who quote, absolutely detest somebody. The inspiration for Karma Killer reportedly came from Williams's former manager, who is said to have exploited him and the rest of his band. Musically, the song is built around a driving bass line and atmospheric guitar riffs that create a sense of foreboding. The omen comes in the lyrics, which explicitly describe the singer's true feelings towards the subject. Look what you didn't take from me. Look what you didn't take from me. Remind us never to get on the bad side of Robbie Williams. Come a killer. Come a killer. Number 8. You Get What You Give – New Radicals Unlike many other songs about karma, this one looks at things from a more positive perspective. Basically, the only single released by alt-rock group New Radicals before their disbandment, You Get What You Give tells you all you need to know with its title. Here, the band encourages their listeners to dream big and put in the effort to see those dreams become a reality. They also touch on a variety of themes, including the media, politics, and social issues, in a way that grabbed the attention of music legends like Joni Mitchell and The Edge. You got the music in you. Don't let go. You got the music in you. New Radicals' message is still as relevant today as it was back in 1998, and the song remains a timeless anthem for dreamers and doers everywhere. We only get what we get. Number 7. Karma – Taylor Swift The concept of karma has appeared multiple times throughout Taylor Swift's discography, from her hit single Look What You Made Me Do to the music video for The Man. Although fans initially speculated that Swift would release an album titled Karma, that eventually came in the form of a single on 2022's Midnights. The song takes a humorous look at the concept, listing all the good ways karma would manifest for her as opposed to her adversaries. Like many of her similarly themed songs, fans were quick to form theories about who the lyrics were directed at. Karma is my boyfriend. Karma is a god. But Swift has kept mum about the subject of the track, if any, seemingly giving way for karma to do all the work for her. Karma's a Down. Number 6. Karma Police – Radiohead Widely regarded as one of the greatest albums of all time, Radiohead's OK Computer birthed this haunting standout track. The song tells the story of different people being pursued by the Karma Police for their perceived misdeeds. This is further emphasized by the music video, 
which shows a man being chased down a deserted road by a mysterious figure in a car. While that may all seem pretty straightforward, the lyrics of the song are written in a way that is cryptic and open to interpretation, resulting in a sense of anxiety and paranoia. However, to the members of the band, it's a light-hearted song with a comedic tone. If only we could all see life through the eyes of Radiohead. Number 5. Karma, Alicia Keys There probably is no better serving of karma than when the person who wronged you is right in the same position they once put you in. Right from its opening, we can tell that this song is about a broken relationship and the fallout from it. Karma follows a former lover who once deserted the narrator, and is rejected when he returns for a second chance. Lyrically, Alicia Keys seems to be grappling with the idea that, although we might wish for karma to be swift, it often takes its sweet time to manifest. Released as the final single from her sophomore album, Karma may not have been a smash hit, but it remains a testament of Key's brilliant songwriting. Number 4. Karma's Payment, Modest Mouse What if you could live your life doing good deeds in hopes that karma would sort you out later? I am not who I want to be, I probably will not ever be. Well, that seems to be just how the narrator in this Modest Mouse song gets by. Long before they found mainstream success in 2004, Modest Mouse released a nine-song EP that heralded their eventual sound and identity. The closer track on the EP, Karma's Payment, follows the narrator as he deserts a man who helps him out of car trouble, only to get, quote, jacked in a really bad way afterwards. My car broke down on the street, the radiator's falling. Apparently, he sees this as repayment for his actions. Karma's Payment is an early exploration into the experimental sounds and melancholic mood that will show up in Modest Mouse's later works. I'm on the Karma Payment plan. Number 3. What Goes Around Comes Around, Justin Timberlake The third single off Justin Timberlake's sophomore album, what Goes Around Comes Around was regarded by many as a sequel to his 2002 hit, Cry Me a River. Hey girl, is he everything you wanted in However, according to Timberlake, the song had nothing to do with his former girlfriend, pop star Britney Spears. Instead, it was inspired by a friend of his, who was heartbroken by his ex-lover. Timberlake sings from this friend's perspective, narrating his experience and assuring the woman that she'd get her just desserts in the exact same way she served it to him. Featuring impressive production from Timbaland and an impeccable vocal performance from Timberlake, what goes around comes around soared to the top of the charts, giving the singer his third consecutive number one single. Number 2. Karma Chameleon, Culture Club English pop band Culture Club scored one of the biggest hits of their career when they released this absolute earworm in 1983. Written by the band's frontman Boy George, Karma Chameleon was reportedly inspired by his then-secret relationship with Culture Club drummer John Moss. Just like the title describes, the song is directed at someone who changes their behavior, depending on the situation, and the karmic justice that awaits them. Although it took a while to win them over, Boy George eventually convinced the rest of the band to record the song. I'm a man 
That proved to be a wise decision, as Karma Chameleon became a massive crossover hit for Culture Club, becoming their only number one single in the U.S. Karma, 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 Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Instant Karma – John Lennon and Yoko Ono Written and recorded in just one day, Instant Karma is about as instant a song as you can get. This is karma's gonna get you. Seemingly opposed to the idea that karma is delivered over the course of one's lifetime, John Lennon wrote this tune about a more immediate form. In this way, the singer likened the concept of karma to the idea of instant coffee. The song was released just 10 days after it was recorded, at a tumultuous time for John Lennon's band The Beatles, who dissolved less than a year later. For Lennon, however, this became an instant smash hit, reaching the top five in the US, UK, and multiple other countries. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.